There's plenty of places to practice your programming skills online for free. Hacker Rank, Leak Code, Code Wars, and many more. In my opinion, Code Wars is one of the best places for a couple of reasons. There's a bunch of different programming languages to practice with, much more than most pla other platforms, 55 different languages to practice with, from the obvious choices like C++, C Sharp, Python, and JavaScript, to more obscure like R, Perl, or PowerShell. You can search by keyword, difficulty, bookmark the ones you like, add them to playlists that are called collections, um, and compare to other people when you solve that challenge. It gives you the essentials to solve the problem, which is usually the instructions, an example, test cases, and one function, so you don't have to type everything from scratch. It's social as well. You can compare your score to others and see what their solution was as well. Even though I praised it quite a bit, there are some flaws as well. The biggest problem is the amount of challenges have issues. So even if your code is correct, and even if you get it reviewed by like a community, which I've done in the past, it may not work. You see, challenges are made by other users on the site, so if they never updated it, then you could be out of luck for that programming language. Also, new challenges don't get added that much, at least not the easier challenges. I mean, I've been waiting for a couple of months for them to add one challenge, so that gives you a good idea of when they add things. Sometimes the description of the challenge doesn't make much sense. Perhaps English isn't their main language, so it's kind of described pretty weird. The website isn't perfect in functionality. For example, the bookmarks, at least as of this video, don't toggle the way they should, so it's kind of hard to tell if you added them or not. As of this video, I solved over 530 challenges, mostly in C-sharp, but some in Python, C++, Java, JS, and even some SQL. That's not to flex on my skills, but to rather to show how great Code Wars is. Other websites that are similar, I have like literally like 15 challenges completed by comparison. The challenges go by Q, where 8Q is the easiest and 1Q is the hardest. Obviously, the harder the challenge that you solve, the more points you earn. If you just finished the fundamentals and you don't have a project in mind, I would give Go Code Wars a try. Even signing up, you have to solve a very simple challenge, but eventually it'll be worth it if you're dedicated. I like the collections as well. They're basically like playlists on YouTube. I have so many different ones, just for reference. Regex, and ones that I solved with for loops, and more. If you're serious in learning a programming language, this is probably one of the better free resources out there.